Hey, what's up, nerd herders? Just really want to talk about DC Reaper. That was awesome. If you don't know, it's kind of a soft reboot or just like a change in their like current state of, you know, current state. The story kind of, you know, starts off with um, Wally West uh, from the pre New 52 explaining to us, you know, that the Earth of the New 52 is really the universe of old, which is so cool that someone has been messing around with it. He also, he's also he tell us that um, he's also been removed from the timeline and then he's outside of time. And he was trying to fight, fight all this time to get back. This pretty much, then he pretty much describes, well, decides, describes, what am I on about? Decides to, um, well, <laughs> see Batman, because apparently the letter that Barry gave him what set us all off. Goes to see him, but Batman doesn't know him. In a long story short, when Wally disappears back out of time, a, a badge appears. Well, it kind of lodges in the wall. Spoiler alert, it's the chameleons from, you know, The Watchmen, I think. I never watched the movie or read the comic. I'm sad. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's kind of, it, the massive story I thought was beautifully done because Wally sees everyone the, that was important in his life, his love, his best friend, some of the old enemies he fought. But none of them recognised him and that is super sad. At the end, he pretty much was about to accept his death and accept he was going to die. And um, he, sees, he sees Barry and says his goodbyes and says, you know, you may not remember me, but, you know, thank you for everything. Every second and is it golden or something like that that it, it meant everything don't waste it and it it was really heart-wrenching the one reads that all this and at, and at the end the moment while he was about to die Barry recognized him and remembered of the old universe because new 52 once Wally is you know pulled back in, pulled back into the main timeline of the new 52 uh, Wally explains that well it wasn't his fault. Wally explains to Barry that, you know, Flashpoint wasn't all your fault when you came back. Someone actually messed with the timeline so all this would happen. The story kind of leaves off with a massive cliffhanger with Batman discovering the, excuse me, the chameleon's badge and the Wally just kind of like foreshadowing like someone is plotting against us. We pretty much know is Mr. Manhattan because there's a massive theory going on at the moment that when uh, Mr. Manhattan, you know, went off off at the end of the comic and the movie, it's speculated that he went off the you know mess with the New Fifty Two. I mean, I can't knock that that theory. I think it makes great sense. And I'm not being a dick about it. I think it makes quite a bit of sense. All right, guys. Um, <sighs> I def recommend everyone read DC Rebirth you know first actual storyline because you know it fixes everything because you know the little bugs like, you know why Superman's a dick but you know Superman's dead and we got the pre new 52 so that is awesome um fucking hell it is a great story and I kid you not I, when reading it I actually nearly came to tears Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'll see ya!